The Pella Corporation, maybe best known for making windows, has improved its ability to solve problems within its manufacturing process thanks to 3D printing. Two 3NTR printers from Plural Additive Manufacturing now run almost continuously at Pella, allowing engineers there to produce custom tooling, special machine parts, all aimed at improving, refining the manufacturing process there. I spoke about this with Pella's Curtis Webb. All right, you have a piece here that illustri illustrates the size of the build chamber yeah, and what so that can get you. You know, we're wanting to, to capture and reclaim uh, some fluid in an application. Uh, so we've got a, a funnel here that's, that's doing that for us, but you can see it's, it's tall. If we lay it down, it's wide, but then it's, we're not gonna get the surface finish that we really desire. Uh, but another clever, um, clever thing that our designers did with this, and it's really been, been fun to just empower people to, to solve problems differently. So when it comes time to clean, that, that sump down in there is pretty narrow, pretty deep, and it's, it's difficult to, to clean in there. So we came up with a multi-part solution here. It's a nice snug fit, but that wow. comes apart. So now this becomes very easy to clean. And this is a, this is a machine component for one of your pieces of manufacturing yeah, equipment? So this, yep, piece of manufacturing equipment. So this is being used in, in production on a machine. It has to do with simply capturing some fluid and, uh, and you, because you 3D printed it, you had the chance to iterate this design and get to the, the perfect fit and, and the, the perfect containment of the right, fluid you're trying right. to catch. So there is, you know, with, with every solution that you end up with, you likely started with a problem to solve. Yep. So we had a number of problems to solve. And yes, through printing it, we could do iterations um, faster and much lower cost than trying to build assemblies. So there are some early iterations before we introduced the 3D printing as a potential solution here that were assemblies of flat plastic parts, that it was very time consuming and we just, you know, we couldn't blend things together like we wanted to and really get the, the end product that we wanted. There is one more of your parts I wanna talk about and it's yeah. because it, it serves uh, the needs of assembly so well superficially looks like kind of a simple part, but there's some nuanced things going on here. Why don't you talk about what that does? Each product that's being produced has specific requirements. So we'll bring the individual parts needed often in a kit cart or a kit tray. This part helps those parts move from the kit tray into the product. Uh, so we've got you know a 45 degree angle here to match up with the part well, but then there's some geometry going in here to help smooth and guide that part as it transitions through. You know, traditionally we would have looked at this and um, begun machining out of a solid block of either plastic or metal and then uh, built up assemblies and it would have been a lot of machining and a lot of parts assembled together. Um, but by leveraging what 3D printing can do, uh, did it in one assembly, able to get it out on the machine, try it out, figure out where we have issues. And again, the iterations could occur during the, the build process of the machine uh, very rapidly. What was interesting is as we were going through that, it was fairly early on in making this transition to 3D printed parts on machines, and there was a reluctancy from, from our builders, from our machinists, to say, hey, we need to reprint that. Because they were thinking in the concept yeah. of how much time and effort would have been in that part if it was machine, um, you know, they're, they're well, we can we can put it on one of the one of the mills, and we can just mill that that part off. Said so, no, no, <laughs> let's just reprint it. Uh, but it was really a fun part. We got a lot of different people uh, exposed to it and understanding, and it really helped transition a lot of minds in how 3D printing can work and how the iterations uh, can work. And it's it's okay that this isn't used in the final one. That that's you know that's one of the iterations along yeah. the way.